Let's take a look at command line concepts. Bracket expressions in grep regular expressions. Let's begin by taking a look at the grep man page. The grep man page begins by showing how to invoke grep, as well as providing program options that can be specified through command line flags. We're going to scroll down until we reach the section of the grep man page specifying regular expressions and the syntax for using them. This time, we're particularly interested in bracket expressions as well as a subset of bracket expressions called character classes. By using brackets in regular expressions, we can match a single character from a specified set of characters. To specify a set of characters to match from, we can use square brackets to enclose the set of characters. For example, if we want to match any digit 0 through 9, we can specify an opening bracket, list the digits that we want to potentially match, and specify a closing bracket. This pattern indicates that we want to match any one character, assuming that that character is the digit 0, or the digit 1, or the digit 2, or the digit 3, or the digit 4, or the digit 5, or the digit 6, or the digit 7, or the digit 8, or the digit 9. We can also specify a range of characters using the notation A through D. The characters that are captured by this expression are going to vary depending on the current locale. In the US English locale, we would have these two expressions would be equivalent. Later, we'll come back and see how character classes are used. Let's try a bracket expression. We will use a text file that contains alphabetically sorted words. Each word here is on one line of text. This command will match all lines that contain G-R-E-T or G-R-A-T. Note that this line will not match the word G-R-E-A-T. The bracket notation notes a disjunction. We will match E or A, but not E followed by A. Note here, great did not match this pattern. However, regretting and transmigrate both do. To specify a set of characters that should not be matched at a given position, 
we can use another notation. Here we're going to use a caret symbol within the square brackets. Note that this use of the caret symbol is different from the use of the caret symbol at the beginning of a regular expression. This command has matched all lines that contain G, followed by R, followed by a character where that character could be anything except for E and A, followed by T. Note here that the caret is specified inside the square brackets. We can also specify a range of characters inside brackets. This command We'll search this file for any uppercase character in the range A through Z. A slightly different variant of that command, where we use the caret in its other sense, We'll specify that we want to match any word that begins with capital A through Z. We can see here that grep has indeed listed lines that start with an uppercase character. Note that here we used a dash to signify a, se a sequence of characters. It is sometimes possible that we want to actually match the literal dash character. It is possible to do so by placing the dash as the last character in the bracket expression. Oops, what did I forget? These two situations failed to match because I was specifying that, the, that we had to start with A through Z or dash, and here the dash is in the middle. Let's rework that, removing the caret. Hmm, still doesn't work. What did I forget this time? Oh, the dash was outside. So I'm now looking for A through Z, capital A through Z, followed by a dash. There we go. Now we're looking for A through Z or dash.
We can also use character classes enclosed in brackets. Let's look again at the grep man page and scroll down to the section specifying the regular expression syntax for grep commands. Regular expressions, bracket expressions, character classes. We can see that grep predefines certain named classes of characters, noting that the names are fairly self explanatory. Examples include alpha. This specifies alphabetic characters. Space, characters that are spaces. Upper, uppercase characters. Digits, lowercase characters. Punctuation, alphanumeric, and so on. To use these predefined character classes, we use them within the square brackets. So here, the outer square brackets specify a bracket expression, and the inner contents here specifies the predefined character class punctuation. Let's try a variant of a search that we did earlier. Here, in this search, we're going to search through user share dict words for lines that begin with an uppercase character. We see that as before, grep has, grep has listed lines that start with an uppercase character. 